Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Paddle, ear, nose and throat surgeon at the Melbourne ENT Group. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very common ENT condition, epistaxis, or nosebleeds. I will go through some simple first aid measures and advice regarding the management of this fairly common condition. First aid for nosebleeds is often performed incorrectly. However, with the right first aid, most nosebleeds will stop on their own. Here are the do's and don'ts. Do gently blow your nose to get rid of some of the clots of blood that have formed inside your nostrils. Do sit up and lean forward. Do breathe through the mouth, allowing the blood to run out, or if you have to, spit it out, without swallowing it. Do squeeze the soft portion of the nose firmly, using your thumb and forefinger. Don't grip the bony bridge of your nose. This is a common mistake. Do maintain this pressure for about 10 to 15 minutes in adults and maybe five minutes in children. Don't release the pressure every so often to check whether the bleeding has stopped. Do suck on some ice cubes, plus or minus uh, an ice pack to the bridge of the nose. Not only is this relieving, but it can help the blood vessels constrict and slow the bleeding. This step is not necessary, but many people do like to do it, and it does provide relief. Do rest quietly, and do follow all the steps outlined above, but if your nose continues to bleed um, after applying pressure for a total of 30 minutes, then it's best to seek help. You should seek emergency medical care if the bleeding is large, won't stop, or makes it hard to breathe, the bleed is after an injury, such as being hit in the face, and you are concerned you or your child have other injuries, such as a broken nose, the bleeding is after recent nasal surgery, and you are concerned, or if you have any other additional symptoms, such as chest pain, multiple bruises, or other areas of bleeding. After a nosebleed, there are a few things you can do to reduce the chance of another one. Rest quietly for the next 12 to 24 hours. Do not pick or blow your nose for a week. You can sniff to clear your nose if necessary. Avoid strenuous exercise, straining or lifting heavy items for a week. Allow food and drinks to cool before eating them for a week. Use lukewarm water for showers or baths for the next week. Try to stop smoking and avoid drinking alcohol. For pain relief, Use paracetamol and try and avoid aspirin. If you're already on aspirin or other blood thinners such as warfarin, plavix, arelto, prodaxa and so on, you should discuss these with your health practitioner as they may be contributing to your nosebleed. Some people with dry skin in their nose may find that ointments or nasal sprays also can help. If you suffer from nosebleeds and have high blood pressure, visit your health practitioner to ensure your blood pressure is fully controlled. Measures to prevent nosebleeds may include Avoiding manual trauma of the nose lining, such as nose picking. Using a humidifier. Drinking plenty of fluids. Using an ointment on the affected area just inside the nose. Using a nasal salt spray. Avoiding strenuous activity or heavy lifting. And using headgear when playing sport. Avoiding cigarette smoke. Thanks for watching. For more videos on ENT conditions, treatments and procedures, check out our YouTube channel or head over to our website for more details along with downloadable information sheets.